Yo, what is up guys? For today, we're talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at my final character, my Warlock. And unfortunately, this video might be pretty short, considering I don't have many, if all, any builds with her. You guys will see that my only high stat is Discipline. That's it. The, the, my, the other armor set that I have is just like a look that I like, and that's pretty much it. So let me just go off on some of the builds that I do with my Warlock and some of the ones that I will be doing in the future, hopefully. So this is how my Warlock looks. I think she looks pretty fire. Uh, obviously, since the chest piece is out for Eververse now, since that stupid event did not drop it, we finally have this. I ended up getting this a while ago because of uh, certain reasons. So I already had the chest piece, but I wanted to wait until all the armor was available. That way, if you guys liked any of the fashion that I did, then you guys can like scoop it up for yourselves. But I think this looks really cool. I am not breaking any rule, aside from maybe the fact that I think I've used Nezirak Sin on a last video. So maybe that one. No, oh, it was actually Crown of Tempest, I think. Either way, this is what I usually use anyways. That's why I have it up right now. So obviously, I have Recluse with my Warlock. Even though she's the character I least use, that's fitting considering i don't use recluse that much anymore mostly because there's just so many other smgs that i like over the recluse right now not saying recluse is garbage by far from it it's still good it's just that i have a lot of rotations that i do with other weapons now and recluse is one of the weapons that i use when i'm doing really really high-end stuff like pit of heresy so I, I will get out this recluse to do like pit of heresy stuff on my hunter or my warlock or my titan or whatever so the rec my recluse is still loved. I love my recluse still. It's just that I'm pu I'm putting it away so I can use other things because if I just use recluse all the time, I'd get bored. And yeah, so this is the build that I do on specifically Nezirak Sin because Nezirak Sin, as you guys know or probably don't know, if you get any void kills, it increases ability regeneration and do that does include your super. So obviously with recluse i'm just murdering everything and since it's void i'm just racking up that nezirak sin which goes up to like 15 seconds i think or something like that so on top of already having stupid grenade builds i also have a top tree void so that way i can charge up my my grenade so if you charge it throw it it like instantly destroys everything it's really good for ad control but it's also good to keep your nezirak sin like active and then I probably have Tractor Cannon or like maybe actually Swarm of the Raven with like maybe a sniper rifle here. But I have Perfect Paradox here considering it has Demolitionist and a combination of tr Trench Barrel or 1-2 Punch. So, you know, obviously pretty dope that I have that. So this is literally one of the builds that I love to do. If I was going a little bit harder on it and obviously I would want to go a little bit harder on it. I would most likely go for a melee slash grenade build for this and maybe an intellect build so all these three if i could do that that would be pretty pretty gnarly actually now that i really think about it because if i have all these it means all my ability are getting recharged so much more faster because i think if i remember correctly intellect like kill like if you have it at 10 it, it's like at three minutes or something if i remember correctly so it's like half your super right there same thing for melee and same thing for your grenade my grenade's at 32 seconds guys so that's really gross so if i could do that with my grenade and then melee and then somehow get intellect as well that would be pretty nutty i would love to do that build but only i only have grenades for right now which is fine but yeah, the next one, I would want to do that even more. So I would be doing Stormcaller with Crown of Tempest. So if you guys don't know, Crown of Tempest is essentially like Nezirak Sin, but it only works on ability kills. So again, melee, super, and uh, grenade. If you get kills with that, those, then you get your, your ability regen up. And that this one's really gross because it could go up to three times and uh, like... I don't remember how long the duration is, but it's significantly stronger than Nezirak Sin. The only reason I like Nezirak Sin more is because it does not need to be ability kills, but this one does. So, like I said, if I could have somehow all of these 
higher, oh, that would be gross. But I don't play my warlock enough to make builds like that. If it was my hunter or my warlock or my titan, then probably. But unfortunately, like I said, warlock being the least I play, I can't do that. So aside from that, why is that? Oh, so this is this is how my warlock would look without an exotic. I think she looks pretty cool. I actually love the way she looks. It's at 110, so which means I can afford to switch out something if I really needed to. This is another build that I used to do, and I still do to this day because it's still really good, especially if I'm doing uh, like middle tree uh, solar. Mostly because if I do this, I could essentially kill someone with my melee and then throw grenades and then throw uh, protective grenades. So I can just hold my grenade and then just give everyone overshield. I usually do like two or three grenades, like overshield grenades, and then just call it a day. This is a this is a build I like to do when I just want to like fuck around or if we need heals for some odd reason. I don't know why I have get getaway artist. I'm not gonna lie. It was probably mostly for a fashion type thing that I was doing. It was. I'll show you guys in a bit. For my chest piece, I have Phoenix Protocol only because, like I said, you guys have noticed I have the the armor from Pr Escalation Protocol. I was actually using Phoenix Protocol f with Middle Tree Solar to get my super back when I was killing the boss for Escalation Protocol, which is fun. It was a lot of fun. It's getting my super back almost halfway to. So it was super viable. And then obviously transversive steps, which I use when I'm doing PvP. I love the, I love these boots. The uh, they're dope. I wish the hunters got the ability to get reloads from sprinting, but it's it's cool. I don't mind it to be quite honest. I think the warlocks this it's just dope, guys. It really is. Like th these boots are fucking cool. It just kills my soul that I do not have the ornament for it. So this is how my warlock looks. My my actual armor that I like to use with her for right now because I think the chest piece looks amazing. The 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 only thing that's really fucking unfortunate is the fact that the chest piece does not change colors. So like this gold never changes colors and that's one thing that just kills my soul, guys. Like oh man. This is the reason why I'm using this color because the gold and this gold look really well together, like almost close, so that's why I'm like ah fuck it. So that's just one of the biggest bummers is that like this cool ass chess piece does not change colors for this right here. So Bungie, I would love it for for us to not have this color limitations. Like I say it almost every video, but just stop limiting the colors, dog. It's it would look so cool if uh, whatever it kills my soul. So this is my other look that I have that I was thinking about doing. And nope. So this is the other one. I actually like it. I like the fact that it looks very regal. Looks like like a scholar somehow. The only thing that would change is probably the arms. But the thing that kind of sucks is the only arms that look really good with this are the arms that came with the set itself. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll show you guys right now. So the only reason I say it looks good with this is because this right here matches really well. So that's what kind of kills me about it is that it looks super cool, but it's part of the same set. I don't want to use the same set, so that's a no. The server pro provided new data. What? Whatever. So then this is actually the look that I was going for with this armor set. Because it kind of looks like she's rolling up her her gloves. I don't know what I was going for, but I thought it looked pretty cool. But that's pretty much it, guys. I, I've i talked about this on my other Warlock videos. That it's just hard to fashion around Warlocks, mostly because their, their armors, their fashion is literally just their chest piece. And that's it. That's really it. Like, it really kills me because... I don't remember the fashion being this hard on Destiny 1, like, I remember their armor looking really good. I think maybe what I'll start doing is start getting more of their armor from other events and raids. Because <clears throat> I know, like, I'm missing a few from here. I know I would love these arms for some reason. Uh, this 
armor doesn't really concern me too much i don't like most of it and maybe the christmas set was pre actually yeah the christmas set was really cool there is some of this right here that i think is really cool I finally got the Sovereign suit, so I have all this, which made me really happy. I wish the ornaments were available, but one one fight at a time. And honestly, maybe some of the World Drop armor may suit me a little more. But honestly, it's just it's just hard. It's really hard to armor around something that doesn't change color. Like this is a great example right here. This gray thing does not change color. Which really sucks because I thought these boots look cool. Oh my god. These boots, when I first saw them, I was like, this is fire. And then, no, can't change the pants. I was like, cool. So immediately burned those pants. Cool. I didn't even know this is changes or not. Does not change armor rate or color right here. That's cool. Definitely, definitely love that. So it's just disappointing to see armor like that. It's disappointing to see armor that you can't really shader around. Really kills the vibe. Just kills the vibe of just getting the armor itself. This helmet I've always hated and that uh, has not changed. And it just, yeah, I can't really begin, like I can't really express that enough. I hate when armor like limits your color variation because then you really just don't want to use that armor, which means you that armor just gets locked off of you. You could say no you can still use it can you really when it's like locked to that art to that colors not me personally i really don't like it so let me know what you guys think in the comments below like i said my warlock my warlock's a lot of fun but fashion wise it's just so hard to do something cool and in the next coming seasons you might see me just using same armor from last season so let me know what you guys think uh if you guys are warlock mains let me know what are you guys using to do fashion i certainly think it's a challenge considering the, that the chest piece is probably the most important aside from the helmet obviously so let me know what you guys think thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it. if you guys want to follow me on my social media I'll links links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it and be careful out there guys you guys aren't you guys know what's happening in the world right now and other than that i will see you guys later